There are situations where you want to email clients, suppliers, patients, or students based upon the data you have in your Excel spreadsheet. And you need to send them personalized emails, but you do not want to create any code in VBA. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you how to send personalized emails that capture data from your Excel worksheet with very simple steps that do not require using VBA. So let's dive in. This is my finished project. I have a client list which shows a first name, a last name, an email, a paid column, and a balance. Some of the clients paid their balance, so I see yes in the paid column, but some of the clients did not yet pay, so I see no. Conditional formatting highlights the records for the clients who didn't pay. What I would like to do is to send an email for those clients who didn't pay to remind them of the amount that is past due. So in column G, I created my functionality, and when I click on send email, it opens Outlook, and I can see a new message in the two line. It grabs the email for the client from column C, and then there is a subject, payment required. But look at the body of the email. Hello, Amber. That's the first name of the client. There is an amount of 98.11 coming from the balance column that is past due. Please process the payment as soon as possible. All what you need to do at this point is to click on send and we are done. I'm going to build this functionality from ground up in Excel. This is my start file. It shows a client's list where I have a first name, a last name, an email, a paid column, and a balance. For those clients who have a balance overdue, conditional formatting highlights the paid and balance column. I would like to be able to create a certain functionality in column G. So when I click on some text, it opens Outlook. In a new message, I see in the two box the email of the client, and then I see a subject line, and I have a customized body text that mentions the first name of the client and the amount that is overdue. And I'll be doing this by using simple functions without using any VBA code. Let's understand the concept. What if I want to create a hyperlink to a website? That's very easy. I type equal hyperlink, and then I hit tab. In double quotes, I type the URL. I close the double quotation, and then I type a comma, I need a friendly text, so in double quotes I'll be typing my blog site. I close the double quotation and I close the bracket for the hyperlink function. When I hit enter, it's a hyperlink. The mouse pointer changes to a pointing finger. And if I click on it, it will fire up my browser, opening my website. Let's close it. I'm going to delete what I have in cell G2. And I start over again. This time, I want to fire up Outlook. I type equal hyperlink, and then I hit the tab key. In double quotation, I type mail to and a colon, and I close the double quotation. That's the secret keyword. I want to mail to whatever email I have in column C. Then I use the joining operator of Excel, the ampersand, shift 7 on your keyboard, and I click on cell C2. I type a comma, and now I can type the friendly text that will appear in the cell, and I type it in double quotation, send email. I close the double quote, and I close the bracket for the hyperlink function. When I hit enter, now I see the text. I can click on it, and this time it should fire. Outlook. That's wonderful. Now we want to add a little more functionality. I want to add a subject and I want to add a customized body text. So I need to create that in two helper columns. I'm going to close Outlook for now. And for the subject, if the client already paid, then I don't want anything for the subject because I'm not going to email that client. But if the client didn't pay, then I want to say, payment required. Then I'll be typing an if function, equal if, and then I hit tab. If cell D2, the paid column, equals yes, 
in double quotation, I type yes and I close the double quotation. Then in this case, I don't want anything. I don't want to email the client. I type double quote, double quote. Otherwise, I want the text payment required. In double quotation, I type payment required. I close the double quotes and I close the bracket and then I hit enter. Now for this client, because there is a balance due, then I see payment required. What do you want to see in the body text of the email? I type an equal sign and in double quotes I type hello and a space and close the double quotation. I want to join it to the first name. I use the ampersand shift 7 on your keyboard and I click on cell A2. That will be the first name of the client. I want to join it to some other text. So I type a second joining operator and in double quotation I type a comma and then a space. There is an amount of and a colon, a space, and I close the double quotes. Now I want to grab the amount from the worksheet. I type an end symbol and I click on cell E2. That will be the amount. And I want to add some more text. Then I type another end symbol. In double quotation, I say that is past due. Please process the payment as soon as possible. I close the double quotes for the body text and then I hit enter and that will be the text of my message. I already noticed a little problem because the balance doesn't look as a dollar amount and that's easy to fix. I put my formula in the edit mode by hitting F2 and then because the balance is coming from cell E2, I click before E2 and I want to wrap it in a dollar function that will take care of formatting. I type dollar and then I hit tab, I close the bracket after E2, and that should fix the problem. When I hit enter, sure enough, the number is formatted as currency. Now we need to go to the hyperlink function, grab the subject, and grab the body text. That will require using two more secret keywords. I put my function in cell G2 in the edit mode, and before the comma, I want to add a subject, then I type an end symbol, and in double quotation, the secret word is a question mark, subject, equal sign. Question mark, subject, equal sign, and I close the double quotation. What's your subject? My subject comes from cell H2. Then I type an end symbol, and I click on cell H2. I also want a body text. Then I want to join to the body text. I type another end symbol. And in double quotation, the secret keyword for adding a body text and body. This is one single word and equal sign. And I close the double quotation. Where do I get the body text? From cell I2. Then I type an end symbol and I click on cell I2. And that's it. And let's test. I hit enter and I click on cell G2. It should open Outlook. Now I can see the email in the two box, the subject payment required. Hello, Ember, the customized message. There is an amount of. The amount is nicely formatted. That is past you. Please process the payment as soon as possible. All what I need to do is to click send. I'm going to close this email. I'm not sending it for now. To avoid the confusion, I don't want to see any text in column G if the client already paid because I'm sending this email for those clients who didn't pay. Then I'm going to wrap my hyperlink function in an if function that evaluates the condition in the paid column. I put my function in the edit mode. I click before the hyperlink and I'll be typing if and then I hit tab. If cell D2 equals yes, double quote, yes double quote, then I type a comma, then in this case, we don't want to send anything to the clients, and I type double quote, double quote, otherwise, we want the hyperlink function, then I type a comma, and for the value if false, I want the hyperlink function, I close the bracket for the if function, and I hit enter, and I finished creating this part of the functionality. So I'm going to copy this function all the way down. I can then copy these functions for the subject and body. I copy them all the way down. 
and then I can hide these two columns to avoid the confusion. Alternatively, you can write another if statement to turn off the subject and body in case the client already paid. I'm going to hide and then test with another client. The next client is Lily and she has an amount of 8644. If I click on send email, a new message opens in Outlook. Hello, Lily. And I see the amount. Now let's close Outlook. And as a bonus for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to send the contents of the worksheet as an attachment right from within Excel. So I go to the next worksheet, Books, and let's assume I want to send this file to a client, to a colleague. It's very simple. I can add the functionality to the Quick Access Toolbar. When I click on the down arrow to the right side of the Quick Access Toolbar and I check email, just by clicking on this email, it will open Outlook and the entire Excel worksheet will appear as an attachment. Of course, there is no customization like the previous technique. And here you can see the Excel file attached to the email and the subject shows the name of the file. If I close it, what if I just want to send this worksheet and I also want to be able to customize my email? That's very simple. I'm going to add a functionality to the quick access toolbar that doesn't exist on the ribbon. I click on the down arrow and I click on more commands. And in the Excel options dialog box, I select all commands. I want to go down and I select this command mail recipient. I hit add to add it to my quick access toolbar and then I hit OK. Here is the command. If you want to see the names of the commands, move the quick access toolbar below the ribbon and I click on the down arrow and I select show below the ribbon. Now it says mail recipient. That's different than email. When I give it a click, it asks, would you like to send the entire workbook? No, I just want to send the current sheet. And I select the second option and then I hit OK. And look what will happen right now. The Outlook functionality is now integrated within Excel. I write the email in the two box. I can write an email in the CC. I can customize the subject line. I can write an introduction. And only this worksheet will be sent to the client. You can see here at the top some other Outlook functionality, which is extremely useful. If you have multiple accounts, you can select the one from which you want to send this email from the drop list and then all what you need to do is to click on send this sheet and we are done if you change your mind and you don't want to send the email just click on the command on the quick access toolbar i showed you in this tutorial how to send personalized email that captured data from your excel worksheet using simple function and no vba code if you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to support my channel and to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.